Hey everyone, this is Mr. Wu here, and like I promised, this is my herb run guide. Um, this is my way of doing it, I think it's the best way, and uh, the most efficient way you could say. So before we start, this is what you're going to need. Uh, as you can see, you're going to need a rake, a seed dibbler, a spade, uh, the secateurs, or have you say the normal ones, or the ones I've got now, the magic ones I acquired from quests, the fairy tale quests. Um, you're going to need the ecto whatever you however you say it again um that is related to quests. You're gonna need five seeds, uh herb seeds obviously you can need five law runes, two fire runes, two water runes and one I recommend the uh, air staff or staff of air. Um you can obviously just use five um air runes. Now in terms of equipment I have a glory on, I don't know why, but essentially light stuff. You want to be as light as possible because you're gonna have to do a lot of running. Uh, I used, you're going to need the um, Explorer's Ring, that's most important. Uh, I don't know why I have the Combat Bracelet on, um, but any of the light items like Agile, Tops and Bottoms, um, Boots of Lightness and so on. So um, I like to equip the Magic Secateur, um, why not? And now I go to use the Ecto thingy first, and this will take you by Canifis. Um, it does it automatically, so you don't need to bother with that. Um, so this is the actual run itself. Uh, the seeds I'm using are um, toad flax. They're the most profitable right now. You're going to have to keep checking because it can change. Like a couple of days ago, I think Ranar was. But um, toad flax seems to be um, the most profitable all the time. It's like 22k per seed profit or something like that. Uh, there'll be a link in the des description, and I'll put it somewhere on the screen right now, on the video right now. Um, as you can see, right-click the guy, the stupid leprechaun. I normally take out freak to start off with. I use one super compost, and then one seed. Next, use explorers in the cabbage patch, or cabbage port, so the cabbage patch. Um, the average you get is um, 6.5 herbs per harvest. Obviously, it's an average; you can't get actually six and a half. So, as you can see, when I'm running, I will clean all of them. That will get um, some. That will get you some herbal experience. And I've actually leveled a few times from do it just from cleaning them. Um, this is another set. So here you can see I've got six, seven, eight. I've got eight. So you super compost again and then use another set of seeds. Next I go to Troll Helm, Troll Helm, Troll Helm and that again requires another quest. Now this patch that I'm going to now requires the My Big Arms Adventure quest and that means that you have five herb patches after all. Um, uh, overall, sorry. So I don't clean my herb things now. Climb down this, this first one, then click to the next slope and then you'll see on the mini map the the green shortcut arrow click around right near there now I clean all my herbs because if you try to clean them while clicking on one of those shortcuts as I did on the first one it will interrupt your movement so it will, you'll stop moving but if you're just moving without taking any action but at the end of where you're trying to get to then it doesn't interrupt so you can clean them without um, stopping your movement or whatever so yeah this one's pretty simple um, The magic secateurs, I should have said this before, increase the amount of herbs you get. Um, the Falador Shield 2 also increases the XP and yield at the patch south or Falador. I haven't done that yet, I don't think it's particularly worth it, really. But you can do that if you really want to, some people do. Um, so you run up through here. As you can see, sometimes you can click right by that ladder, sometimes a door, as I highlighted before, is um, shut. If, there, if there's been another runner ahead of you and they left it open. Now I click on this, and then I click on the tall leprechaun, or right click, just in case. Um, so that's 15 noted straight away. Next, I just get this set. This set will also never be diseased. I still use super compost, it's the best thing, because it increases the time and the yield. Um, but this set will never get diseased. There you go, another set. So, like I was saying before, um, you have to care, take care for uh, take um, care when you're buying your seeds. I tend to buy in um, increments. I normally buy like 100 seeds, 
and then when I don't finished all those then I'll buy another hundred and I'll sell the um, herbs uh, so you clean up here and with this guide and a walkthrough I suppose follow this pattern exactly I've sort of gone from east to west pattern so from Canafis to um, the troll helm place but here's where I haven't gone east to west I, I go to RD first and then I go to Caffeby. Um you'll see why in a minute um, it's up to you again because I prefer the Kaffir B one last, and um, you'll see. So again, I've run out of super compost, but as you can see, I've got 245 and 10 buckets. So at the end of this, I will show you how to really, really easily make super compost. I mean, people were asking me before because you know they lost a lot of money how to make it, and. Um, people were asking me should I use super compost potions or something I never even heard of them, I had to look it up on wiki to find out what they're talking about and then I looked it up and it cost like 4.5k each and that just turns one set of compost into super compost um, why would you do that? don't don't buy that stuff um, in terms of what you can use to make super compost um, I'll show you how in a minute but uh, this is the last patch I, know, I, get, I always quit the magic secretaries, you don't need to, it's just I, I prefer them, <laughs> prefer holding them. So I'm using these herbs on that, so, uh, the tall leprechaun, so I have more space. Yeah, ignore the marigolds, they serve no purpose, uh, they've been there for years, <laughs> I've just left them. There you go, and that's the last set you need to plant. Now from this run alone, I have made, I've got 30, 36 I think, or whatever, um, or other 38, or four. right, so I'm going back to the bank, and for this bit, I'm just going to get rid of everything here. I'll try to put it all in one space, even the ecto thing, obviously the air staff goes somewhere else. I've got one... 1331 um, clean tofax. So I'm going to price check these. I'll probably sell these. And look at that. 5.1, nearly 5.2 mil. Uh, sorry about the mouse thing. The recording program does that sometimes. It's when I don't position the uh, window for RuneScape properly, I believe. But uh, it shouldn't, shouldn't be too distracting. So here to get the pineapples, withdraw 80 coins. That is all it costs. Talk to Arn Hen right there at Caffleby. This is why I like finishing at Caffleby. You talk to him, then you go to, can I buy some pineapples? Click to continue, turn the type 40 in. That's it, you got 40 noted pineapples. And you can get that again every 24 hours. Which is the easiest way by far to, I remember having to go to um, extraordinary lengths to get pineapples. Now you can just buy them right there. They got got 389. You're gonna want to withdraw 15 pineapples. See how easy this is to make super compost. Go to the compost bin. Use the pineapple with it, and you'll put 15 in. Now, as you'll see in a minute. I have the exact amount of buckets that you can have in the well that the troll leprechaun can hold for you, which is 255, I believe. And this basically enables me to cycle through without having to um, go to the bank to withdraw like buckets and stuff. Every time the compost bin is empty, do what I've just done: fill it with pineapples. Even if you don't buy any, you have you have, you'll stock up because you'll save them. It only takes 15, but you buy 40 a day. So there you go. 12 buckets and 243 so ne when that's done the co super compost is done which is uh, it varies it can be from I believe like 60 minutes to 90 minutes or something but uh, it seems to go quite quickly for me uh, when it's done you just do it again and you put them in now I really recommend this way of doing things because the Caffrey bank is very close to the farming patch so you don't have a long ways to run with the pineapples and obviously that guy Arnon is there 
So I always do it, well, I try and always do it in this order. And I understand that sometimes quests can be difficult and people don't like them. But in terms of getting the Magic Secretaries and my big arms um, adventure to get that fifth patch, it is by far very worth it. And you've just seen how much money I've made in like five days with that um, 1.3k hub. So anyway, see you guys later.